Hi, welcome back to Homeschool Together. And today we're gonna to take a look at Blossom and Root's Early Elementary Science Level Zero, which is my great space adventure. This is 36 weeks and is a really solid start to your child's science education. It sells for $19 as a digital PDF and comes with a nature study. And we already did a video on that one, so you can go ahead and check the link below if you'd like to see the nature study portion that's bundled with this curriculum. Overall, this is really fun. There's lots of great information, great activities, great videos. We can't recommend this highly enough as a great way to start your child's science education. So let's go ahead and take a deep look inside. Okay, so when you purchase this curriculum, you're gonna get two pieces. You'll get this parent guide, and then you'll get the student notebook. So we'll go over the parent guide first and take a look at that. This is my great space adventure. And it gives you a, just a little overview. As with all Blossom and Root products, it's fairly relaxed, it's hands-on. Um, it has lots of great aspects to it. It's 36 weeks. It does talk about how you can uh, expand or contract this, but I think as a 36 week curriculum, it works really well. So this is primarily a science curriculum, but it's got some integrated math concepts for kindergartners, which is really fun. So this isn't gonna replace your math curriculum. Um, this is more of a science curriculum with some math concepts. So this is all the things that you're going to uh, learn as part of this. So this is, um, the bits of math that are going to be here, sequencing, patterns, number lines, there's calendars, there's going to be some pieces in here. So it gives you a little overview of how it integrates math, how to use the curriculum. So the way that this one works is that there's going to be a letter at the beginning of every week that comes to you from the alien Zula, who is asking your explorer to help them um, in, their, in their plight. I think they're at planet X. And so you're going to be taking supplies and trying to find them. And there's this whole kind of story element that goes with the curriculum. So we'll take a look at how that works. But I think the story element really works well to make this accessible to kinder students. All right, so the captain's log, that's the student notebook portion. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then full uh, list of contents. Now, what I really like about this curriculum is that it doesn't just talk about the planets and maybe the asteroid belt. It has a whole lead up to it. You don't even get to, um, to the sun, for example, until week 13. I love this because all of this is about preparing to go into space. Um, all about our planet and then how we would design a spacecraft, how we would stay alive in, um, in orbit and how we would build it and living in zero gravity and how to make a course for where you need to go and blasting off and all these pieces. It's all this preparation piece, which we really found fascinating as a family. And then you're gonna start getting into the different planets, the International Space Station. You're also gonna be talking about Hubble uh, Telescope, Nebulae, black holes, galaxies, um, then there's some health stuff, and this is this is great. It's um, very well set up for 36 weeks, and I love just how expansive the curriculum is. Now, one of the things to notice about this is that these topics are not specifically kindergarten topics. One of the best things that I like about this curriculum is that you can do it with any age, and in fact, we're gonna be doing this curriculum with our kindergartner and third grader next year. And in fact, it might be first grader and rising fourth grader by that point that we actually get to this, but we're going to do it with them. And so if you have a larger family and you need to do something all together, I think this is great um, because it's very easy to make it harder if you need to. Um, okay, so here's the book list. These are the recommended books. And I love that she tells you you're going to use this like most weeks or just a couple of times. So maybe that's a good library get. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of an idea. There's a supplemental book list here, and for every week she gives you great supplemental books, which is fantastic. You can go to the library and get those. She also provides you with the full year's worth of supplies, which is fantastic. Now, most of the supplies, besides maybe some modeling clay, a couple things, it's a lot of stuff that you have around your house. I didn't find anything in the supplies list that was you know, really odd or expensive or anything. I mean, the, uh, shaving cream, that was optional. So, I mean, there's a couple of things, but overall, pretty easy to locate uh, and you might already have them at home. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the very first week because the first two weeks are included in the sample. So I think week two is a little bit more indicative of what you'll get. Okay, so here's the, here's the start. You're gonna have this letter from Zula. Good morning, Captain. You know, we've we found Zula's location on this planet um, and she's talking about what to pack for your journey. 
Yeah, we have to start thinking about how we're going to prepare for our trip. This first couple weeks is a great time to maybe start working on a cardboard rocket ship or something because this is really fun as they as they think about what they would need to survive in space. So this is all about uh, focusing on what do living things need to live. So it's great. She provides you with these three big bullet points. These aren't things to read to your child. They're things for you to think about. Um, so uh, this week we're going to focus on planning ahead for different trips, like large and small. Like what would you need to pack if you're going to go to the library versus going on a vacation or overnight to a friend's house? Kind of thinking about the differences. Um, talk about things that you might need to bring along to outer space and then the basics of um, you know, what, what living things need to keep them, keep them going. And then the captain's log, you're going to make a list in pictures or words of what you would bring on your space adventure. Okay, so there's um, no pages from the spines this week. Here's some op optional books like Living Things and Non-Living Things, um, Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life, so What's Alive. So this is all about living things and what they need. Here's a great video that you can watch about Imagine You're an Astronaut from NASA's JPL Lab. And then here's some other websites that you can visit about like what astronauts take with them to space. So the optional activity, you could over the course of a day carry around a piece of paper and a pencil and write down everything that you need or use during a typical day to help you think of what you might need and thinking about what things are really necessary or practical in space and what ones would you leave behind. Um, and then, you know, on your next trip to a hike or the library, you know, encourage your child to pack their own bag and think about what they might need. So I like the self-sufficiency parts of that. So that would be week two, and then we go to week three. So that's, it's not a lot of work. Um, it's generally going to be something from Zula, and there's a few things to focus on. There's books to read, videos or websites to visit, and some sort of an activity. Now, all this stuff is optional. It depends on what you want to do with your child or what they're most into. When we did this with our daughter, she wanted to read all the books and she really loved the videos. We didn't do as many of the activities because that just wasn't her, her interest. She wanted to do the videos uh, and the books. So, but take what you want, leave what you don't. This is great because this curriculum doesn't expect that you start at any one particular time of the year. Uh, it's not seasonal, so you can start whenever you like and make sure those books are available at your library. And you're going to go all the way through the planets when you get, obviously, to something like uh, Earth, right? There's lots of different books and videos and activities to make a model of Earth out of clay, all kinds of things. So this is how every week goes. And I don't think there's any supplemental pages in the back. No, there's a few digital links here that uh, if you have this in PDF, it's really easy to find all the videos that she talks about through the clickable links. So that is the main curriculum part of it. And let's take a look at the captain's log. Okay, so here's the notebook. So this is great because you need your student to do some calendar work, which I think is really exciting. It doesn't matter what month or day you actually start this. Uh, this is just for them to, to get in that habit. You're going to circle those. So here's the, that first week. And then here's your astronaut profile. Um, and then the second week, that's that what will I bring on my trip to space that we talked about. So really easy. You're not asking for a lot. You can definitely scribe for your child uh, because at this age, it's difficult for them to really write what they want. But our daughter did a lot of drawing when we did this with her course we're now prepped to do it with our with our second daughter and so it'll be exciting to see how we go through this the second time and I wanted to show you a few of the books so there's a couple of the books uh, this is a DK level two spaceships and rockets overall great books are chosen for this as always Bossman Root does a really good job of choosing high quality books especially in the area of science so really great uh, easily accessible Here's another one, DK Mysteries of the Universe. This book is gorgeous. <laughs> I think a great addition to your library. Um, it just has uh, just terrific pictures. Not a ton of writing, so I think it's very accessible and it gives some history behind the different planets. Um, just, it's, it's a beautiful book. I think it's a terrific book, a great to have in your home library. Um, good pickup. So yes, this mysteries of the universe, fantastic. And then space exclamation point. There's a couple of different space ones. I think there's, um, 
Super Space Encyclopedia, and then there's this one. This is the one that we happen to have. We love all of these books because they are so visual. They're great. So this is a step up in the level of detail from like the Mysteries of the Universe book and definitely a few steps up from the early reader, but this is a great book to have in your home library. This is one that you will have long term, which I love investing in just high quality books that our girls love to look through and learn about. So if you have a space loving kiddo, uh, this would be a great book to have and lots to learn for years to come. So you can just see with these three books that I've shown you, this one I would say goes all the way up to like adult level. This Mysteries of the Universe could too, but it's in a more condensed format, Would could even be great for like junior high, and then you have something like this for an earlier elementary. So you can see how this information can go multiple levels, and I think that's what lends this curriculum really well to working with multiple age groups. If you've got a large family or a big age spread with your kids, there's a lot to dig into here. Your older kids might not be that excited about the letter from Zula. When we did this with our kinder, she was so excited about that weekly letter and really felt like Zula was communicating with her. I've seen fun things too, where some parents will print out the letter and put it in an envelope like they received it overnight from Zula. So you can do really fun things. You can get an astronaut costume for your child, make a cardboard rocket ship. I mean, you can do lots of fun things with this, have as much fun with it as you want to. And then for your older students, you can dive into more um, space science and physics pieces and things. So really very adaptable in a well-priced curriculum. So overall, that's My Great Space Adventure, Blossom and Roots Level Zero Space Science. We love this for how affordable it is for $19 and you get nature study with it. I think you can't beat the price. Um, it's great for kids that love to explore. If your family's at all interested in space science, this is a great one to do. This is not great if you really want something very prescriptive. This is more of a gentle, you know, take what you want, leave what you don't type of curriculum, which works really well for us. But if you want something very prescriptive, this is exactly what you should do, or this goes with the standards, this wouldn't be the right thing for you. Uh, I don't think that it lends itself very well to that because you may feel like you need to do all the things. And it's really meant to give you options. Go down the rabbit holes that you like, uh, you know, lean more into those, leave the stuff that's not interesting you. Um, and really, I think this is a great curriculum to start your child and, you know, exploring science and seeing that science is cool and it has a lot of you know, interesting depths and things as we go on through the year. So great introduction gets our highest recommendation. We love doing it with our daughter and we look forward to doing it with them again. So we hope this review was helpful for you and stay tuned as we review more curriculum on our Homeschool Together channel.